Hey everyone and welcome back. So I'm so glad I've been able to actually do a follow-up video to my last one. I'm actually squeezing in a quick video today, which originally I didn't think I was going to be able to do. Which is good because uh, we do now have uh, not a lot more details, but at least further details than I had in the last video as far as the uh, Screen Factory uh, June titles, which were literally officially announced um, late Monday, obviously after my video was done and uploaded because... Of course, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. Um, and a couple of other announcements as well. So yeah, so uh, I'm actually gonna do the uh, Scream stuff first. You know, normally I say that stuff for last, but actually, because technically um, I already talked about them in the last video, this is just a quick update now that they've been officially released. So um, let's start with, actually we'll start with the Shout Select title, which is the uh, 4K upgrade to uh, Joe Dante's Batnay, which is definitely the one I can't wait to get. Um, now it doesn't have any details. It is going to be a two disc set. Uh, the included Blu-ray obviously will be region A locked. With all of these, the included Blu-ray is going to be region A locked, so just a heads up on that. Retails for $39.98 uh, for pre-order right now, at least from the Shout website for $35.99. And um, obviously any of these that you order from Shout, I believe they all, while supplies last, they all come with a poster. So in this case, um, an 18 by 24 poster of the original Wunchy artwork, which I do love. Now it doesn't list any extras. It says that those will be coming down the line. So I assume at the very least it should have the same extras that were on their previous Blu-ray release. And we'll just kind of wait and see. Uh, hopefully there'll be maybe a little bit more, you know, one or two new things anyway. So anyway, that's it for matinee. So next up, we do move over to the uh, Scream Factory one. So first up, let's do Species 2. Oh, by the way, matinee is set for June 25th. I don't think I said that. So um, um, so Species 2, set for June 11th, uh, same thing, retails to $39.98, up for pre-order for $35.99, at least from the Shout website. It'd be a 4K set and a Blu-ray set, um, and no details just yet, that will, those are also coming down the line. Again, I assume it'll at least have some of the stuff that was on their previous Blu-ray release. And next up, we move over to, uh, Robocop, the remake of Robocop, set for June 18th, retails for $39.98, up for pre-order right now for $35.99. Um, it is a two-disc set, 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc. Yeah. And this one, we do have some specs for. So uh, 4K disc has a new 4K remaster from the original Digital Intermediate, because it was a digitally shot film. It has a 5.1 uh, surround track and a 2.0 stereo track. And then uh, the other stuff is on the included Blu-ray, which also has the film with the remaster, same audio options, but also has Robocop engineered for the 21st century, a three-part documentary on the reimagining of Robocop some deleted scenes, an Omnicorp product announcement, as well as theatrical trailers. And now we move over to RoboCop 2, which is probably the uh, biggest title of the month. So set for June 18th, uh, we got a couple different ones. So uh, RoboCop 2 4K uh, upgrade and with the included Blu-ray. So we'll start with, the, so there's a standard release and there's a couple of bundles uh, that are exclusives, which I'll get to in just a moment. So first up, uh, let's see, standard uh, release as a uh, retails $39.98 for pre-order right now, uh, at least from the Shout Factory website for $35.99. It does come with an 18 by 24 poster of uh, the one sheet, obviously while supplies last, and actually does already list all the extras. So, and it looks like actually it's, yeah, it's the exact same extras that were on the previous Blu-ray release. So the included Blu-ray will have um, all those all the extras on it, but it will have a new transfer. Um, but the 4K disc obviously has the new transfer. It's a 4K scan from the original camera negative uh, in Dolby Vision. It'll be in DTS 5.1 surround and 2.0 stereo. Um, and the two com audio commentary tracks, one with author uh, Paul M. Salmon, the other one with makers of RoboDoc, the creation of RoboCop documentary with Gary Smart, Chris Griffiths, and Eastwood Allen. And like I said, the rest of the extras are on the included Blu-ray with a making of, which talks to a bunch of people, uh, some behind the scenes, trailers and TV spots. I think that's all the same stuff that was on their last release. So uh, so that's RoboCop 2, the 4K of RoboCop 2. We do have two other bundle options for RoboCop 2. So first one 
is let's see for up for pre-order for uh 4498 so you get the regular release of robocop with the uh, uh with the poster with the one sheet artwork as well as a exclusive uh slip cover with new artwork and the poster to go along with it actually the new artwork looks really good i, I like that hopefully you guys can see it okay uh, i don't have like a single picture of it um, and it also comes with a RoboCop 2 Prism sticker, which again is their new thing. And then finally, they have one of their like bigger bundles, which are with a bunch more stuff in it. Set let's see, for pre-order for one forty nine ninety nine. And let's see here. So it comes uh, obviously with the regular release, uh, with the poster for it, the uh, exclusive slipcover, the new slipcover with that pretty cool artwork, the poster for that as well, the Prism card. And a uh, pin set, uh, the Gutter Garbs pin set, um, and a bumper sticker, which you can see here, say no to nuke a special message from RoboCop. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, and it also says here that it is coming with one of those uh, lobby card um, recreation sets. Is there, I, don't, I don't see a picture here. Yeah, it doesn't look like, the, I don't have a picture of the lobby card set. So that probably, picture of that probably be coming soon. But so yeah, so that's the uh, bigger bundle. And then yeah, so that's it for the um, one shout select title and obviously the, uh, the Screen Factory titles. And now we move over to some of the other announcements. So first up, um, which I mentioned before, but it looks like we finally actually have a uh, actual official release for it. And from Draft House Films, we're getting a 4K uh, and Blu-ray release of Caligula, the ultimate cut set for, it just says fall, winter 2024. And this is a recent restoration um, of it. So now I don't have any more details as far as like how many different cuts are included. All I do know uh, unfortunately, is that it still isn't the original director's cut, which I think technically has never really existed. Um, I know Tinto Brass wanted to actually do it, but for whatever reason, they're not letting him do it. So this is a cut of Caligula. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, so yeah, once further details are set, I'll definitely let you guys know. Moving on though, we do have a new one coming from Blue Underground, another 4K release. And that is the film High Crime starring Franco Nero and from Enzo Castellari. It'll be one of their limited editions. So it'll have a 4K disc of Blu-ray and the CD soundtrack, which is always cool. I always love it when they can include that. Now I don't have any uh, further details uh, may not have been released yet, but it is a 4K restoration of the complete uncensored version from the original camera negative, except for the very last reel, where unfortunately the last reel from the negative is missing, which is sad. So the last few minutes of the film uh, will be restored from the best available 35 millimeter print. So it will be a slight shift, but it's, if it's a good looking print, it should still be fine. So anyway, looking forward to getting that. Uh, I don't think I, any, it's just, I think it's just coming later this year. I don't even think I have a release date for that yet, but happy for, always happy for a new uh, Blue Underground release. Next one is a new announcement from Kino. This one actually came in uh, on Monday, April 1st. I did not want to include it in the last video because at the time, um, I actually really wasn't sure if it was real or not, um, which really annoyed me. I really don't like April 1st with all the fake stuff. But anyway, so announced on April Fool's Day, which is fitting, is a upcoming release, a 4K release of April Fool's Day set to come out later this year. So I uh, have no further details as of this moment. Um, hopefully it'll have at least some of the extras that will be that were on the um, Screen Factory Blu-ray. But yes, this actually was uh, announced on April Fool's Day and but they didn't say anything. So I wasn't 100% sure. It really would have been cool if it just had a, even on their announcement a little thing like it might be April Fool's, but this is no joke, you know, 4K of April Fool's, like something like that. But no, and I didn't want to risk it. So anyway, but yes, it is official and it is uh, just coming later this year. So obviously once I have more details, um, I'll announce them in another video. And then finally from MVD Rewind, uh, this is very, very cool. And I'm glad they did not give up on this. So some of you know, MVD Rewind uh, last year did start a uh, 4K uh, line, which is numbered, by the way. The first uh, release was uh, Swamp Thing, followed by Ghoulies. Um, the third one, which was supposed to be uh, Ghoulies 2, they were only able to do a Blu-ray, but they were determined to do a 4K release, so they kept the third slot in that line blank. 
uh, the fourth release was Cutting Class. But now that third slot is indeed being taken up by a 4K release of Ghoulies 2. And I'm so glad they did not give up on that and that it is indeed coming set for July 9th. It is going to be a two disc set. So I have a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc. Now the Blu-ray disc is going to be the exact same one that they did release last year. In fact, it'll even have the exact same transfer on it. It won't have actually the new transfer on it. It'll have the exact same extras. The 4K disc though, and this is where things get interesting, does have a new 4K 16-bit restoration from the original camera negative done this year. It'd be in Dolby Vision HDR, being 2.0 stereo, and it'll include the 90 minute theatrical PG-13 cut and the restored 91 minute unrated slash R-rated cut of the film in 4K. Because I think the Blu-ray literally only had the theatrical cut even. And the 4K disc will also have the introduction by screenwriter Dennis Paoli as well as the original theatrical trailer. And I'm really happy they didn't give up and they, that is indeed coming out. So now slot three can uh, go and be filled by its uh, proper owner or whatever, you know, for with Ghoulies 2. And yeah, their, their 4K releases that they've released so far, uh, in my opinion, have been really, really nice. So uh, yeah, looking forward to not only this one, but even the ones that they have coming down the line. And I wanted to end on that one because I thought that was a cool one. So anyway, I have to wrap up this video. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad I was able to kind of squeeze this in today. Um, and yeah, that's it for this round of uh, updates and announcements. Definitely let me know your thoughts on these. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.